Hey guys, Movie Guy 2005 once again. And um, today uh, I'm going to be doing a movie review of the 1988 classic Beetlejuice. Um, now, this film is directed by Tim Burton and starring Alec Baldwin, uh, who is an actor you may recognize. Um, he's in a lot of stuff. Um, He's in that movie I don't, I don't really like called The uh, Cat in the Hat, which I know some people like that film, but in my personal opinion, I don't like it. I just don't care for that film at all, <laughs> honestly. Um, you got Gina Davis from The Recurring Birds of Fly, which I did a review on. Uh, you also got... Uh, you also got Winona Ryder in the film, Jeffrey Jones, uh, you got Michael Keane as Beetlegeist in the film, and, uh, yeah, uh, what more can I say about Beetlejuice that hasn't been said? Um... Basically, Beetlejuice is about these two people. Um, Adam and Barbara, they... In the beginning of the movie, they have the, this model of the fame of this thing. And um, in one scene, they, they crash into this little barn thing in the, in the cars, like hanging like, like it's about to go in the water and this dog is like on the wood thing and he steps off and the car falls into the water and they're both ghosts now and and um they go into this little model thing and they, by saying Beetlejuice three times, um, which of course, Beetlegeist is played by Michael Keaton, who's an actor you may recognize uh, from the 1989 Batman film and Batman Returns. He's in a lot of other stuff, too, if you look him up. And, uh... And, it, I thought that was a cool little touch there. Them going into this little model thing. Uh, and they meet Beetle Guys. And one part where... Where uh, I forgot which way he looked, and he and his head spins, and he does this, and um, they say his name three times, or no, not really his name, but they say home, 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 and they and they get out of the model, and. And these people come into the house and just do stuff and all that. I don't really remember too much. Honestly, it's been a while since I've seen this. Yes, I actually did see it, by the way. Um, I forgot what they did at the house, but... Um, and basically, one part... Both um, Adam and Barb, they like become like older, and you have this little girl played by Winona Ryder, and and they try to defeat Beetle Guys, and uh, and you have these little sandworm things. 
which I thought they looked really cool. And um, then Beetle, Beetle Guy Skits killed and all that. And then they, um, or no, not really killed, but um, at the end of the film, you do have this scene where this little girl like dances and this guy, this monster guy, shrinks his head and his voice is getting smaller, like a high pitched, which I thought that was a nice touch. Was, and the song uh, was a uh, jump in the line. <laughs> Better rock your body. Jump on the line. Um, I forgot the lyrics to the song. It's I'm sorry. It, I haven't seen this movie in a while now. Um, it's just yeah. What more can I say about Beetlejuice? It's just it's just a classic Tim Burton movie. And um. Yeah, and this movie's got a lot of recognition. It's got a lot of fans. And, yeah. What more can I say about it? It's it's a great movie. The effects are really cool. I love the look at the sandworms. They're really nice. I love this part where they draw this, like, door thing. And they go in there. Which I thought that was a nice touch. And, yeah, I don't know what more to say about this movie. I definitely do recommend it for um, horror comedy fans. So, yeah, that's it for this review, and see you all in my.